my dear brothers and sisters in the Lord. Today is the 16th Sunday of the ordinary time of the liturgical year, and our Mother Church invites us to be the ideal sheep and shepherd in the light of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. In the first reading, Prophet Jeremiah presented the shellfish and unworthy shepherds of Israel and highlighted the need of good shepherds. The existing shepherds of Israelites allowed the sheep go astray. They chased them away and they did not care for the sheep. That is why the Lord promised the Israelites that he will gather the sheep again and he will appoint caring shepherds. These shepherds will care for the sheep and will not allow them to go astray. In the letter to the Ephesians, St. Paul presented Jesus as the Good Shepherd, who sacrificed his own life to establish peace among all. He gathered the sheep from everywhere. We encounter Jesus as the Good Shepherd in the Gospel today. Seeing the people at the river bank, he was filled with compassion and love for them. The Good Shepherd loves his flock more than his life. Therefore, when Jesus and his disciples met the people at the river bank, they could forgo and sacrifice their need and wish for rest after the disciples had hectic time with the people. They spent time with the people joyfully. Jesus became shepherd of the people who were like without a shepherd. He taught the disciples to be an ideal shepherd for them. Dear friends in the Lord, today many of us like the scattered flock without a shepherd. We are searching for the meaning of our lives. We are searching for the truth and we are desperate to be at peace. We do have to come to Jesus like the people of the gospel today. Jesus will give us new life because he is the truth and the prince of peace. The readings of today invite us to be the ideal shepherds like Jesus himself. The Holy Father, Pope Francis, has invited the shepherds of the church to be with the smell of the sheep. Some way or the other, we are shepherds or called to be shepherds. A bishop is the shepherd of his faithful. A parent is a shepherd to the members of his family. A principal is the shepherd of his educational institute. A leader is the shepherd of his people. Holy love and forgiveness in our hearts like Jesus, we too can carry out our responsibilities as good pastors. Today, let us examine ourselves. Are we aware of the walls that divide us against the virtue of love? Do we pull down those walls to establish peace just like Jesus did? My dear brothers and sisters in the Lord, let us become good sheep and shepherds. May the good Lord be with us. Amen.